Hey guys and welcome back to a new episode to Android and KMP News here. This is the format where I always summarize those news that are the most relevant for you as an Android or Kotlin multi-platform developer in the entire Kotlin ecosystem. So you don't need to look all that up on your own. Today, a little bit of a shorter episode, but still enough that I considered it worth to record this video. And diving right into it with the new Kotlin version, Kotlin 2.2.20 Beta 1. So it's a new beta release, but there are some little compiler things that we can now tweak and work with. On the one hand, there is a new invoke dynamic compiler option, which you can use to optimize your Kotlin bytecode a little bit. So previously, when expressions in Kotlin with type checks, so where you say, hey, when event is event dot on log and click, these types of when expressions compile to a lot of bytecode with a lot of these instance of checks you maybe know from Java. Now this new invoke dynamic option for the compiler can really bring down this type of bytecode by a lot for Kotlin JVM. If you want to turn this on, then you need to add this compiler argument here in your Gradle file. And of course, make sure that you use this beta version of Kotlin. Another cool argument that you can now use with this new version is the small binary option for Kotlin native. So this is not for JVM, but native. So for example, for iOS targets, for that you simply need to use this property and put it in your Gradle.properties file. And this can be used to bring down iOS targets down to a smaller binary size. So if you have an iOS app that you build with Kotlin multi-platform and you want to really uh, create the binary, so the thing that you would upload to the app store, then this new option can bring down the app size that way. However, JetBrains says that turning on the setting can impact runtime performance in certain parts. So if you turn this on and if you say, I have problems with my app size, then definitely be sure to also test this in your release build. More changes regarding Kotlin multi-platform are standard lib atomics. So you maybe know these type of atomic classes, atomic int, atomic float. So pretty much just containers for certain values that you can update in an atomic way. So race condition proof. These types of classes are now compatible with Kotlin multi-platform. So it means you can use these in your common code, which is pretty cool. In regards to compose multi-platform, there are also some cool changes. So the new compose version 1.9.0 beta 1 is released. And the changes that I consider the most important are on the one hand that for the preview annotation, so to preview compose multi-platform composables, that has been extended with certain extra parameters for the preview annotation that we already know from native Android that are very useful. For example, uh, that now also lets you configure the width and the height of your preview that lets you configure the background. So whether you want to have a background or set a certain background color, so this very basic preview data, how your preview looks like, that can also now be used in Compose Multi-Platform, given that you also use the latest version 1.9.0 beta 1 at this point. And another thing that I found cool are customizable shadows that Compose Multi-Platform now supports. So if you want to give a very uh, specific custom shadow to your composables, then you can now do so in Compose Multi-Platform. And something to maybe give you some kind of vision of what will happen in uh, Kotlin Compose Multi-Platform in the new future, uh, JetBrains actually made a survey based on what is the most desired feature request for Kotlin multi-platform. And the winner was Firebase support. So that's something that JetBrains posted. And therefore, uh, since they made the survey, they asked you and the result was Firebase. I think we can expect Firebase support in the new future for Kotlin multi-platform without having to implement some kind of platform specific uh, implementations here. So those changes about Kotlin as a language and Kotlin multi-platform were already the most relevant changes here. But I still want to remind you, because if you are a native Android developer and you maybe have native Android apps deployed to Google Play, then be aware that the page size will soon be required to be 16 kilobytes. So I already went over that in the recent Android news episode. But starting from November 15th, Google Play expects your apps to support this uh, 16 kilobyte page size. Uh, this is only relevant for you if your app is actually using native code. So either you are using the NDK directly in your app or you're using a library that does so under the hood. But all new apps and all app updates from November 15th have to support this new page size, which means if you're using a library that uh, has to support this page size so that it uses native code, this library will probably come with an update, hopefully, and you need to bump the library version to support this. Or if you have your own native code, then you would need to uh, support it yourself. Otherwise, you simply won't be able to update your app anymore. The reason they do this is simply because it leads to better performance. And with this, we are already through. If you are an Android or Kotlin multi-platform developer and you actually want to really 
bump up your skills or you want to get ready for a job or you are in a job and you feel like, okay, there could be more. I could know more. I could be more confident about my technical skills to maybe ask for that pay raise, to ask for that promotion, to apply to another company that you maybe would like more. Then I have an actual mentorship program for that where we work together on a one-to-one -one basis to work on your Kotlin multi-platform or Android skills over a period of 12 weeks. If that sounds good to you, you can just apply to this program. There are, of course, quite limited spots if we work together with people this closely. But apply if that sounds good to you. Go through it, how it works. And then maybe we can already have a chat tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.